So in uh, the 21st Century Christian, you and Reverend Dr. Michael Beck describe four items that will help us navigate 21st century discipleship. Can you tell us a little bit about each of those items that you named in the book? Yes, so the little sort of mantra in the book is, is go find a friend, find a simple way to love the people around you, build relationships with them, um, share the gospel as appropriate in the context of those relationships and encourage them to form a Christian community where they are. And the four items for the journey that can help you travel that journey is the first of all is a compass um, which kind of steers you in the right direction and that's got some core values and if you stick to those core values then you'll be steering in the right direction so one of those values for example is being missional and, and you can make that concrete by saying when we look at the main event in our new uh, fresh expression are over half the people there from outside the church now having that in mind means we're not, not doing this for Christians we're doing this for people who are not yet Christians uh, and having that focus keeps you focused on people outside the church so that's the the compass and then we talk about um, a, a map for the journey and that's a very simple map I've described it you listen to people in the context listen to God find some ways to love them build community with them share Jesus encourage them to form a Christian community where they are connected to the whole church and then to repeat the process and if you follow that map then you can see where you got to on that journey and you can see what do we need to do next so it's a great help and then the third item is what we call food for the journey which is simple ways of studying the bible in such a way that you as a team of christians study the bible together but you're doing it in such a way that you can invite other people to join you and so you're looking at stories that jesus told and asking questions that anyone who's perhaps never seen this story, read it before, can answer. So the first question might be, if this story happened today, what would it look like? Anyone could take part in that discussion. And so there, there are three or four questions you can ask, and then there are other ways you can do these, a little Bible, uh, uh, study the Bible, in very simple ways that are accessible to people who don't come to church, which can be led by lay people who've got little Christian experience. And then the fourth element is, is what's your destination? Where are you headed? How can you recognize that this is a proper congregation, this is a, a proper expression of church? Uh, and we then have a little understanding of what fresh is, or what uh, church is, uh, and, and you can read about it there in that chapter in the book. Thank you.